Hey everybody, Mushbeard here. We are back with some change. It's loading up here. Oh my gosh. Uh, European server soft launch was three days ago. Three and a half days ago. Uh, roughly. I am so excited. I've been playing. Whew, I'm out of breath. I've been sick. Sorry. That's why I haven't been recording. I, I planned on doing a launch day uh, video and everything, but I've been sick. And even just talking right here, I need to catch my breath because whoo, I am out of breath. Just whoo. Sickness is getting me. All right. Uh, global server will be launching on March the 28th. So about another seven days from right now. In about another week, it will be launching. So, yes, yes, yes. Cannot wait. I should be switching over to global then. I might make a guild and everything there. I haven't. But there is a great European community right now that is getting behind this game in full force over on the Discord uh, channel. You can also look up on Reddit, uh, I believe it's reddit.com forward slash r forward slash chain underscore strike because the original chain strike one word, the, the owner was not responding so we had to create a new one but they are doing some great work over there, they are super helpful and everything. Um, so we're just going to do a refresher here in case you missed it or you didn't watch my previous videos or you did. Um, they have changed some things since the beta and boy have they put a lot of work into this and they have made they are making a beautiful game like it is fun to play uh it's engaging it is difficult um so these are my three main heroes right that i use right here as you can screen this see on the screen whoops the guy in the middle that's anonymous he's a force these are all four stars the girl on the left with the the spear that's uh sylvia and the girl on the right with this nice sickle and chain, that is Carly. She is, her attack animations are so awesome. So we're gonna show one thing that they've added. I'm gonna talk about real quick. We're gonna go into the Guardian screen here. They have added what are called collection effects. So now if you see up here, this is my Seamus. Um, right here there's a little pent pentagon thing with the different lights hanging up to see how many of each of the monsters of the different directions you've collected and as you collect the different directions even though you can you can fodder them away but once you've collected them once they come up here so anyone that you use gets this collection bonus now it doesn't these aren't additive so it'll just go to if i get a third one it'll just go to the next step which would just be 10 percent but you can get up to 20 percent increase in any any stat that you need it's going to default to a stat it thinks you want like for this she's an attacker so we get attack um, but I could sit here and go change stat, and I could change it. I could give her more defense or pincer attack or HP. Like, the first time is free, and after that you might have to pay some gold. Or maybe it's some moonstones. I don't know which one it would be. I haven't checked, because I'm not going to change this. But that is crazy. So this is what com us has implemented to make 3 and 4 stars really, really, really good in this game. Because summon rates are low, like Summoner's War. And that's okay, and people will complain, Oh, they're so low, we can't be OP because we can't get to 5 stars. No, this is the thing that they were missing in Summoner's War to make 3 and 4 stars so much better. That you didn't need 5 stars. Because these collection effects, you get them, and man, it is just... I mean, 20% attack increase if I can get all 5 of them. Like, that is that is a crazy, crazy stat boost. Um, so, I mean, obviously... Seamus is actually a three star, so I can get more of her. Um, but some of the other ones, like I've got two Langmars. Um, here we go, Saint Mons. I have four Saint Mons already. I'm only missing one, the Rook one. So I've got 15% increased in HP, and he is an HP scaling unit that does damage based on his max HP. So one more, I get an extra five percent HP just like that, just for nothing. You can see he's got a ton of HP. Like you can see right here. Right there, his HP. I mean, it starts as 3,300, and these ones are, like, higher, 2,800. But look, see, he's got base 3,100. He's higher than them. And and then his bonus is just so... It's just crazy. It's so... This was such a smart move by then. I'm so excited about it. Um, and also, then there's the Transcendence, which I can't do yet. But this also opens up Relic slots and stuff um, for better stats. And... You have to have a copy of the mob, of the, the unit, so with five stars, you have to find a copy of it, which makes it difficult um, to transcend, which, again, makes three and four stars so much stronger because you can transcend them, get that relic slot for that extra item with extra stats, plus they're stronger when you transcend them, so they're making three and a really big push for three and four stars to be really usable. 
And right now, I've just been testing out a bunch of four stars. But you start the three stars you start with are your Lucian, uh, King Lucian. He's really good. Level him up. He's really good. Um, you start with Rook Adele. Level her up as she's your healer. She is really strong. Um, and then Finn. I believe you start with the Knight Finn. Um, he's the one that buffs attack and defense. Yep, attack, power, and defense. So that one's, he's also really good because that is a really good buff to start with. So you start with those, and they actually give you this Seamus right here. They give you this Queen Seamus when you complete Chapter 3-9. And they give the, she's normally a 3, but they give her 2 at a 4-star. Um, and she's really good too. So the 4 heroes they give you to start are, they're really strong. And as, as, like I said, you do the collection of fruits. I got two of them, two of her, and two of him. So I'm getting bonus stats. I'm getting an extra 5% of, like, this is pincer attack. I would probably just make this attack for him because he's, in, I mean, he's a support type. But well, however I want to customize my team, I can change the stats on it. It's so crazy. It is, they have done a really good job. So let's just jump into the gameplay here because I want to show you Carly's animation. So I was farming for queen stones. Because her and my Seamus are both queen type. And we're going to go here. And this is it. And we're going to fight. You get five characters. And you see if you use the same type. So I'm using two queens in this. They get an attack increase. And then I'm using my Anonymous as a leader skill. Which is 15% crit rate increase. Which is awesome. Um, but these animations. This is going to auto. I've been auto in queen two. I can't. I haven't tried a manual Queen 3, but I couldn't auto it. It's got an extra... It's got three stages, which makes it a lot more difficult, especially without a healer, because I'm doing this with that one. But, let's see, you can get two... two they even... Look, you can see. You can get the top view if you really want the... If it's hard to pick for certain things. But look at that. Look at Carly's swing, and it's awesome. We're going to just rotate down right here and get a nice, better view of all the animations and the characters. Oh, it's so awesome. Anonymous has really good animations, too, but Carly's are sweet. Like, it is, she just, ah, oh, that sickle's just everywhere. Like, man, I, she's the waifu. That's, I was so happy when I pulled her. And she explodes bombs. She likes Sierra from Summoner's War. So I need a bomb unit that's kind of like a wee bomb. And anything, her third skill, whenever she, if she, whoever she hits with it, it blows up the bombs that she has on it. But, and here's the boss here. So we're just going through. And this is the chest style gameplay. Remember the Rook, Knight, Bishop, King, and Queen are the different types of movesets. Um, like where you can attack on the board, um, and they each have their own pluses and minuses uh, for what they're good for in each board that they're used for, but there we go. My St. Mon, he just liked my tank, so he just kind of, basically 15% of all damage dealt to the rest of my team goes to him, so, because he can take it. Oh, man. I hit mine on us, but, oh, I just love it. Look at this, and then she... That slow motion kill. Oh, especially if she does it where she's swinging the one around. It, is, oh, it just looks so good. Calm to us has done a great job of this. So I know this is going to be a short video. Um, we'll go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we'll replay it one more time. And I'm just slowly leveling up. You don't level up in... The, the experience is not that good in the, the evolution dungeons and everything where you're collecting the stones. But in the scenario... And it's really good, and you can level up. And they're having events going on right now. Once a day, there's two times gold. Another time is two times experience. And yesterday and then today, you get, uh, in the morning, there was uh, unlimited shoes, which is your energy. Um, in adventure mode, so you can do adventure mode for without costing any of your energy, which was awesome. So I just started clearing a bunch of hellboards um, because I didn't getting it for free instead of having to pay. The, the five shoes for each one. That was really nice. I was able to clear two whole scenarios with it. Um, but man, I hope everyone comes out to play this game. It is going to be fantastic. Uh, it seems like they have got a lot planned. The live PvP is not in yet, but they do plan on having it. Um, so I cannot wait for that. Oh, that's another thing I'll, show you. I'll even show you. We'll go into the PvP screen after this. The setup you can do, and even the friendly battles you can do with your friends. It's like a draft mode that you can do already, and it is it is awesome. And we just auto it for the, the stuff, but um, it's really well done um, for the soft launch they have so far. So I'm excited about what they're going to do with it. You can see Carly just, man, she's just ripping through him. There we go. All right. Fantastic. So let me pull up the PvP screen real quick. 
and I'll show you so we get more queen stones which I need to evolve so my Seamus is already uh, max level plus five my Carly is at max level plus two so I just need more of those and then get the stones and you know evolve them up to five star get my first five star units here but so we go into battle and then down here in the promotion battle that is your arena and what you want to do is this down here on defense whoa bottom right defense right down here we're gonna do this and then we are placing so you can see the enemy placement areas up here so you obviously you can place your units remember this your nexus is something they can kill so once they kill I need to change my team here because I took runes off her, or took gear off her but um, they kill your nexus you lose so you do kind of have to protect it but you can move the nexus like I can literally put it in the corner and then I would say I want to move her I want to put her in for him uh, I'm gonna put anonymous in for him I don't need to be as tanky and then we can like protect it if we want to do something like this actually let's switch those and put you out here but I could literally like start surrounding it and stuff like that and Actually, we're going to make the leader him for crit rate. But you can move the Nexus, so you can put your defensive formation. You're not just stuck with, I'll just put these four people here. Or just put these four units in, and it's just, it's not, it's not static. You can move, you can move the Nexus around, and you can, obviously, you can buff the Nexus. You can use your points to increase the stats of the Nexus itself, or the buff that it provides for each of the different categories. And uh, it's great. They've done a fantastic job with it. Um, I do want to save this here. Let's go do one arena fight real quick. One arena fight. Let's, these are some tough teams. I am currently in bronze one. Man, they've got a bunch of five people. They've already made up to five stars. That uh, makes this a little more difficult here. Those are all four star plus fives. Uh, we'll just do the first one here. They're using the four star units. So you can see they're fighting with the four units they give you. Put anonymous in here for. Who else is in here? Um, you. That's the, four, that's the four I'm using on defense, right? So let's use them on offense. Uh, we're gonna change the leader to him. For crit rate. And we want basically want to line up so we can try because we get to go first. Um, so we're gonna try and give someone really quick. Um, we kind of want to take out Finn so he doesn't get defense buff up. Because then they're harder, but we really kind of want to take out Adele over here. She's the healer. So if we can do that, so we would want to put our Rook straight on. I want to do this and this. Um, man. This makes it really difficult because I can't get the fourth one into the middle of that fight. It's the problem. Is Seamus the one I want to leave out, even though she might be the strongest? Um, yeah, we'll try this. I probably want to include Seamus in my first attack. Because remember, when you attack with someone, anyone else that's in the range, that's attack range is also in the target, will do what they call a pincer attack, and they'll attack with it, as you saw in the other fights, and just jump on them and do their basic attack. Um, and she hits really hard. So, we're going after the heal first. I don't have any buffs on my team except for my Sylvia. If she has more than 80% of her health at the beginning of her turn, she gets an attack bonus for that turn. So that is awesome. And we want to figure out who we want to hit with. So, whoops. We can attack with Carly. This one, if she kills the target, if the target dies when she uses it, um, she, gets, she just randomly attacks someone else in her attack range again, which is nice. But... Oh, we can actually stun all the enemies in the range, so we can prevent her from getting healed after this. Let's do that. Let's use his one. Uh, we missed. Then we attack with Carly, we attack with her, we attack with Sylvia. We're going to use hers because hers stuns, so we're going to try and stun her as we pincer. her. In case she doesn't die, we were hoping to stun. She did not stun. Um, and buffing take zero so like his buffs that he took zero attack uh, action points which are down here you get three attacks uh, take two movement takes one someone's like his skill took one as well 
but now they have defense buff up. That is the problem. Um, this does continuous damage, and he could chain strike. We're just gonna attack with. Yeah. Oh man, it's so good. One, we want to move out here. Get in another attack range. Of course, she's gonna heal herself again. So we're focusing on her, and he's already killed my Carly. Um, we're gonna come over here. We're gonna use this to try to finish her off. There we go. We got her. Boom. All right. They're going after my Nexus. Uh oh. So we're gonna do this again, and we're gonna move in range. Pincer. Oh, we didn't kill him. Oh, and they're jumping on my Seamus. So what we're going to do is we can actually hit both of them with her AoE attack. So we're going to pincer her down here, and she's going to AoE and hit the top unit as well. Plus she gets to move where she killed. And then we are going to step in front of her from our other unit. Oh, he crit, so I guess it didn't matter. Uh, we're going to try and stun him. Oh, I... Yep, I messed that up because I should have moved into attack range. I thought I was. I clearly wasn't paying any attention. Uh, we're going to move here. Oh, we're going to pincer. Mm, he's going to run. This creates a problem of where I want to go. But see, if I move out of the way, I can then pincer against her. Buffing again. That's gonna hurt. Oh! Ooh, see, Seamus is strong. Now, Rage, I get an attack increase, and I get to do where I can move and attack in the same turn with the unit instead of expiring my action points. I get to do both. Oh, I didn't kill him. Oh, she killed me. Ah! God, that hurt. 21 point loss. Like, ouch. That dropped me down. That put me back in bronze 2 here. Oh, man. Yep, see, I've got some work to do. Their team was better thought out with the buffs and Aaron the healer. They were they had a supportive team, but I try to attack like that. But anyways, this is just the first recap video again. European soft launch has happened. Global launch is coming up on the 28th of March, so be there, because I will be there. I hope everyone will join us. Thanks for watching, everybody. This is Mushbeard. I am out.